Hi, this is Joe Telegatis, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating my QR code reader uh, using a Raspberry Pi Plus camera. And in this video, I'm going to be running through my physical setup of the QR code reader, the code I'm running on this QR code reader, and a quick demonstration of the QR code reader. So this is my setup for my QR code scanner. Um, here you can see my Raspberry Pi and my camera. Um, and right now I have this linked up to a monitor to show that if I put something in front of the camera, uh, the camera's working and displays on the screen. Um, I also have over here some LEDs, um, a top, bottom, left, and right one. Um, and this is for my demonstration later. Then I also have this servo motor uh, hooked up to my Raspberry Pi so I can get some functionality out of the servo motor depending on my QR codes. Now on to the code. So this is my uh, Python script for my QR code detector. Um, in this script, we're going to make use of the uh, Open Computer uh, Vision Library, which has some built-in uh, QR code commands. Um, so up here, I'm importing my libraries. Um, we're also going to use the uh, GPIO function on the Raspberry Pi to control the servo motor and the LEDs I showed you earlier. As you can see here, uh, these pins correspond to the servo motor and the bottom, left, right, and top LEDs. Uh, for the servo motor pin, we're going to be using the built-in PWM functionality. So to start with, we um, start uh, by capturing um, video footage um, and then using the Open Computer Vision QR code detector to see if there's a QR code. If there is a QR code, we uh, put a box around that QR code, and then we also print the uh, print the data of the QR code uh, to the screen. In addition, we print that data to the command window, so it's showing up in two places, the command window and on the camera screen. Um, and then I've added in these other uh, functionalities that if the QR code is forward, back, left, or right, I turn on the corresponding LED um, to that position, and I also uh, dis, uh, turn the servo to that direction, so uh, forward, uh, left, or right. If it's back, I just set the uh, servo motor to be pointed in the center. Um, and then using the, uh, we show this QR code to the screen, and then we use a Q key to exit the loop. Um, I also have put it so that if there is no QR code on the screen, all the LEDs are turned off. So on to the demonstration. So here I am running my QR code detection script. If I place this QR code in front of the Raspberry Pi camera, uh, it identifies the code, puts a red box around it, and displays the QR code message in the command window and in the screen. So you can see this one says enemy 49 rocks. Um, now if I go to my custom QR codes, um, this QR code says back, the back LED turns on, and the motor moves to center. If I use another one, so this one says left, the QR code uh, turns the left LED on and moves the servo motor to the left. If I use this one that says right, the QR code uh, turns the right LED on and moves the servo motor to the right. And then if I use the forward command, the Server motor moves back to the middle and turns the Ford LED on. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Thanks.